Jack Antonoff, known for producing some of Taylor Swift's biggest hits, found himself in the middle of a social media storm after his behavior during Katy Perry's 2024 VMAs performance went viral. As Katy accepted the Video Vanguard Award and performed a medley of her hits, fans couldn't help but notice Antonoff plugging his ears, while those around him, including Taylor Swift and Suki Waterhouse, danced enthusiastically. The video quickly made its way to platforms like X, formerly Twitter, where viewers speculated that Antonoff's actions were more than just a case of ear fatigue. Some even suggested that his reaction hinted at unresolved tension between him and Perry, despite no public feud existing between the two. Antonoff, however, wasted no time addressing the criticism in a characteristically sarcastic and humorous post on social media. He confirmed that he was indeed wearing earplugs, but explained that it wasn't due to any personal issue with Perry's music. In fact, Antonov made light of the situation by poking fun at the online trolls who tried to make the earplug incident into a bigger controversy than it was. He admitted that he regularly wears earplugs not only during loud events but even while flying and sleeping, noting that his use of Blue Heroes brand earplugs was hardly a secret. Through his witty response, Antonov turned the narrative around, showing that he's well aware of how quickly harmless actions can be blown out of proportion online. While Antonov was trying to protect his hearing, as many music producers often do at live events, the social media backlash took on a life of its own. Some users theorized that Antonov might have been wearing AirPods instead of earplugs, hinting that he was purposely avoiding Perry's set. Others went as far as to say that his body language, standing still with his arm around his wife, Margaret Qualley, was disrespectful to Perry and her legacy as an artist. This narrative was further fueled by Antonoff's previous comments about Perry's music, where he seemed to imply that her work, along with that of artists like Lady Gaga, didn't have the same lasting impact as Taylor Swift's. Yet, despite the critics, many fans came to Antonoff's defense, pointing out that wearing earplugs at a loud event like the VMAs is not only common but necessary for someone whose career depends on their hearing. As one user remarked, it's not that unusual for musicians to protect their ears in high decibel environments. Antonoff, being the producer behind some of Taylor's biggest hits, including Anti-Hero and Cruel Summer, surely knows the importance of safeguarding his hearing, especially during an event packed with performances from major artists like Katy Perry. In addition to the earplug drama, the spotlight briefly shifted to Antonoff's relationship with Perry. While there's no active feud between the two, fans recalled an old interview where Antonoff praised Taylor Swift's songwriting abilities while seemingly downplaying Perry's and Lady Gaga's work, calling their songs throwaway in comparison. Despite these past comments, there's no evidence to suggest any bad blood between Antonoff and Perry at the VMAs, and it appears that the earplug incident was simply a case of fans reading too much into an innocent moment. As Katy Perry celebrated her well-deserved Video Vanguard Award, which honored her two-decade-long career and influence in pop culture, Antonoff stood by quietly, earplugs in, while Taylor Swift, ever the supportive friend, danced along to Perry's greatest hits. The VMAs were a monumental night for both Swift and Perry. Taylor walked away with seven awards, becoming the most decorated solo artist in VMAs history, while Perry's legacy was cemented with one of the ceremony's highest honors. So, was it all just a misunderstanding? Jack Antonoff's response seems to suggest so, and it's clear that his earplug use wasn't meant as any kind of slight against Katy Perry. At the end of the day, protecting your hearing is a must, especially when your career depends on it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Was the backlash blown out of proportion, or do you think there's more to the story? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes stories from the world of music and pop culture. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.